Spread some cheer on your vegetable platter with my martini olive dip. Using just a few simple ingredients that capture the flavors of a martini with olives, this dip comes together in mere minutes and is just the thing to get the party started. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as possible, especially for those of you out there who say you just can't cook or entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, Hit that notification bell and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, no one enjoys a martini more than I do. It's my favorite cocktail in the world. And in fact, I love them so much, I turn them into a dip. And that's what our celebration today is all about. We're going to be making my martini olive dip. So let's get started. We're going to start with some cream cheese. I have eight ounces, which is 226 grams of Philadelphia cream cheese in my bowl. And I let it get soft and I took it out this morning and just let it sit on the counter so it would get nice and soft. First step. Next, mayonnaise. Just a tablespoon, which is about 14 grams. Right in. Doesn't seem like very much, but you don't need a lot of it. We're just gonna start mixing this up to get it together and start to break down the cream cheese a bit. You could do this with a hand mixer. I've tried it with a hand mixer. It really wasn't any easier. This was fine. And you get a little bit of a workout in. Burn a couple calories. Alrighty. Next, olives. Can't make an olive dip without olives. So I have here three quarters of a cup, which is about 120 grams of olives. I just roughly chopped them. I have a couple. I'll show you how I did it. Nice big olive, little tiny knife, in half, flat side down, like that. One, two cuts, and that's it. I'll do one more. Right in half, flat side down, one, Two, done. Gather up all these little pimentos. And I should say, these are the ones that are stuffed with pimentos and that's what you want. So these are gonna go right in. Let's get every little bit. Okay. Next is vodka. We're making a martini after all. And I usually drink gin martinis, but today I'm using vodka. I'm using one ounce, which is 30 mils. And the reason is it's a neutral flavor. I've made this with gin and it doesn't really pair well with the dairy. So vodka is the way to go. Right in. Now that is optional. You can leave that out if you can't have alcohol. But I like to add it in. It just adds a little warmth. Finally, some olive brine. Half ounce, 15 mils. And that's all your salt and your olive taste, too. So we're going to start mixing this up. Just takes a few minutes. And you notice that liquid is already helping your cream cheese get soft. Even softer than it should be. Now I like to keep a little spatula here. Scrape things down. And this is it. All right, it's all coming together. I'm gonna to add one more ingredient, which is a big grinding of coarsely ground pepper. As much as you like, but I'm gonna put in quite a lot. It's gonna help with the saltiness of the olives and the mayonnaise, which has quite a bit of salt too. So that's a good, good grinding. Another good stir. Uh, 
and that's it. Now, this has all come together. I'm gonna put this in the fridge to chill for a minimum of two hours. A little longer is better, but a minimum two hours. Then, I'm gonna show you how to plate it, and we'll do the tasting. Well, it's been two hours, and our dip is nice and chilled. Here we are, looks lovely. Now I put this in the smaller bowl because my fridge is pretty full today. So how are we gonna serve this? I have before me a platter and a martini glass. I don't know if you can see it, but this martini glass has olives etched on it. It's a very fun little glass. We're just going to spoon this in, just like that. Right in. Mound it all up. All right. One last little bit. Pretty. Now, we want to decorate this plate. So I like to serve this with vegetables and some crackers. I have first some nice red bell peppers that I just cut into strips. I'm gonna put these here. And we wanna make this pretty. Here's a great entertaining tip. You eat with your eyes first. The feast begins with the eye. So always make your plates as pretty as you can. Next, some yellow bell peppers. Look at these colors. It's spring. I've got some spring asparagus. Great dipping and you can eat them raw. A lot of people think you can't, but you can. Then we'll put some crackers right along here. Your favorite kind, whatever you like. Look how fast that was. There's one more thing we need though. We're having a martini. We need some olives right like that. How beautiful. Now, let's do the favorite thing. I'll taste it for you. And I'm gonna use this glorious spring asparagus. I'll just sneak a little off the back here. No one will notice it. When my company arrives later, they're gonna be gasping and wing and eyeing. So let's take a quick bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That is delicious. It's creamy, but somehow light but you get the tang and the brine from the olives and the big chunky olives give it a nice texture. There's that little tiny hint of the vodka in the background. And a wash down stay, of course, we got a martini. Mm. Lovely. So as always, we're gonna have this recipe up in the comment section on YouTube and on our website. And as always, guys, we'll see you all next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.